Hey guys, what's up? It's Tell You How. Um, today we have our first tutorial with an After Effects. Um, you know, I'm, I've learned After Effects. I'm learning Photoshop. So, um, if you guys have any ideas or anything you want to know, just go ahead, leave a comment, send me a message, whatever. I'll answer it probably with a video. All right, so I'm just gonna be showing you how to make a quick little intro. Um, going ahead and show you what the final product is gonna look like. Now, guys, for demonstration purposes and lack of time. I'm not going to be able to show you how I did the audio. If you want a tutorial on that, leave a comment as well. Um, but just giving you the basics to this intro, and you can play around with it and change colors and whatnot. All right, so here we go. And you would generally do like a crossfade into your video, and it pretty much looked like you did a lot of work when really you just made one intro so let's go ahead and get started you're gonna wanna open Adobe After Effects and make a new composition alright so just go ahead and um, the composition settings which is control K uh, you can just make it about 10 seconds long make it in TSC DV widescreen uh, 720 by 480 all that good stuff. All right, 30 frames per second, there about. All right, so you're gonna need Riot Gear. Um, it's a simple little gallery of animations and photos that are gonna help you out uh, with video editing. So just go ahead and open up Riot Gear. Now we're gonna start off by using um, a grungy texture with a grayscale on it. Choose whichever one you like, but for this intro, I think that this one works nicely. Alright, so just go ahead and drag this into your timeline. It's going to be your background. Make sure it's scaled up how you'd like. You're going to put a text layer on here, probably your channel name or whatever you're doing this for. You can make the colors of this however you'd like as well. I would normally do like two colors, like a blue and red or something like that. Okay, from here you'd um, just go on ahead and we're going to use another Riot Gear. This is going to be Reveal 2. It's just kind of an animation uh, that's going to allow you to animate your text. So it just kind of comes in and revealing itself. So let's drag it down to the timeline. And we're going to set the track mat actually to, or um, yeah, the track mat to Luma mat and that's going to allow the text to reveal itself as I had said previously okay so you can see it's just gonna kinda come in uh, reveal itself you can drag it to the center so what that'll allow you to do is just it'll reveal itself from the center instead of just coming in at a random point okay so we're gonna add some more text um, generally you would write presents here I wrote Ultimate Entertainment because that's our uh, slogan that we use for our channel when we do intros. So if you're going to write presents, I wouldn't exactly go black again because that's you know a little too much black. So just change it to whatever you like. I'll use blue. Okay. So I'm not saying this looks great or anything, but you know I have to use what I can when I'm doing this video. All right. So we're going to want the text to come in kind of after um, after tell you how has already revealed itself so just go on ahead uh, click on the text layer of course presents um, or sp and you want to split the layer so it doesn't come in before tell you how has revealed itself you want to make it come in after whoops looks like I actually um, split the wrong layer here okay so definitely don't split that one <laughs> split presents and as I said want to make it come in before not after I'm sorry after not before and uh, you would do control shift D but my video editing software screws up when I do that alright so just split the layer and that will allow it to come in after tell you how has actually already revealed itself alright so now we're going to add an effect want to make sure um, your text is selected go to transition and then linear wipe okay so this will allow the text to come in from left to right 
I like to put a little tilt on the text that makes it look a little better. Okay, so then you just want to take the white angle and set it kind of similar to what the text looks like. Okay. So, um, you're also going to want to make your text a little larger because, oops, not that. Um, just want to make the text a little larger, not the background. And, you know, that'll allow it to look better. Okay, so move this to where you'd like. Um, looks good right there. Okay. So now let's go editing again. And as I said, just make the wipe angle appropriate. You want to set a keyframe on the completeness um, to 100% at the beginning. And then we're going to move about a second and a half down. And we're going to set it to zero. And, okay, sorry about that. Set it to zero. And as you can see, it's just going to make the text come in from left to right. So, tell you how uh, reveals itself. Let's see, let's look at this. Okay, so tell you how it's going to reveal itself right here. Alright, and then bam, presents comes in left to right. Now, you would add audio to this if you wanted to make it look good. Alright, but we're not done yet. That's basically it, but we're not quite done. We're going to use reveal number two once again and just place it over all of the footage. Okay, so place it on top of everything and you want it to come in right as soon as uh, presents is done. Okay, so you're also going to want to enlarge reveal number two um, to fit the entire screen. Okay, so just enlarge that so that way when it's actually finished um, revealing itself, it'll take up the whole screen. And you want to set that to screen. So you want to set the track mat to screen. And what that'll make it do is just cover, engulp the whole entire screen in white. And that's going to add a really nice effect. That's where you would normally do your crossfade if you were using a basic video editing program. So you would going to put this intro in front of your uh, footage and then do a crossfade and it would just fit perfectly in there. That's how I do it if you want to look at one of my other videos for an example. That's pretty much it. This was to tell you how. If you guys haven't already subscribed, then go on ahead and do so. Um, just by clicking the button above. And basically that's it. So you guys have a great day. Tell you how. Peace out.